Hello, Toronto. Come on in, come on in. Let's get started. This week, I'm going to combine two beloved recipes. On one hand, we've got beef and broccoli, such as you might find in any Chinese restaurant menu, albeit in different form. On the other, beef tartare, which you'd find in any bistro menu, albeit in different form. What we're going to do is mash them together until, as in the sex move North York handshake, we don't know where one ends and the other begins. As always, with beef tartare, with any beef tartare, we want the freshest possible beef. It's still maintaining its color, and we're going to slice it into little bite size. I'd call them pebbles. For this dish, I'm just going to use the florets. Save the rest. You can use them for something else. Chop and broccoli. Chop and broccoli. Chop and broccoli. With those sitting by, next we're going to make the dressing. What's in the dressing? Soy sauce, fish sauce, sesame oil, a little bit of sugar, ginger, chili, lime, Szechuan chilies, and sesame seeds. Also for garnish, I don't know if you call it garnish if you put it under the dish, but I want some more crunch and I'm going to use some rice cakes. This is what I found in Chinatown. And I'm just going to break these into chunks. Oh, hello. You caught me relaxing with some fine whiskey and an even finer toothpick. These are, of course, Danson toothpicks. And when I had over the maker of Danson toothpicks, Peter Smith, for dinner, even though we ate a lot of corn and poppy seeds and broccoli and sesame seeds and certainly got things stuck in our teeth, he said that while technically you could use them for getting things out of your teeth, it's simply not done. These are luxury goods for use in relaxing with your A-list friends. I mean, John Cusack, star of Hot Tub Time Machine 1 and Con Air uses them, so, you know, have some respect. To finish our beef and broccoli tartare, we are going to mix our beef and our broccoli with this dressing. Give it a good mix and then mount it over the crispy rice cakes with a little bit of sesame seed and scallion garnish. If you want to go for bonus points, you want to be real traditional, crack an egg, separate the yolk, and get that yolk over the beef and broccoli tartare. Now you may, if you make this, as I just did, get a small amount of broccoli or sesame seeds stuck in your teeth. For this, I would recommend floss. These dento picks with the rubber tips, I like these. My orthodontist likes me to use this rubber tipped Thingy, I don't know what his name is, but do not under any circumstances use Danes in toothpicks for this purpose. That's insulting. That's like using fleur de sel to salt your driveway. Until next week, I'm Gentleman Cory Mintz for the Star.com.